great. Snowing in Colorado. The reason everybody's pulled over is because the chain law is in effect. Not happy about this. But we're gonna do this. So let's grab some chains and stuff. We got this river running along right beside where we're chained. Uh, first thing you gotta do is lay your chain out along your truck tires with the locking mechanisms closest to the tire and on your chain links the part that sticks out like that has to go down because the smooth part's going to go against the tire right here you don't want the rough part to go against the tire then you gotta jump it over the tire Next. There's Kip draping it over the tire. Don't forget the locks are supposed to be on the where you can get to them. Where you can get to them so you can lock this bad boy up. And this part right here, get real close to see. All these teeth have to be on the outside. You don't want them to get into the tire. You want the smooth part against the tire. Now you want to square this up really, really good because we're going to have to roll the, the truck a little bit. And if you don't have this really straight and square, make sure it's, really it's going to be a problem. I know it's loud out, but make sure it's square and straight because we have to roll the tire so we can lock it up. And get it tucked under there real good. We'll get it tucked under there real good. Yep. That one is ready. Now, to save yourself a lot of time, we'll go around and do this on every tire so we only have to move the truck once. But you, And then we can tighten them all up when we're done. And the same, you do the same thing on the, also the same side, on the other axle. No, you do it on, on the opposite axle, yeah. Here we did the back axle, oh, on the other side we do the front axle. axle. Once you get them all three, we just simply pull up. Slowly, and get out and check a couple times if you need to. Don't go too far. And uh, you want to get the chain around so you can work on hooking the end together. When you pull up slowly, just a little bit. And all of the tires that you break will be looking like this. You need to hook it gets to where you got to get it. Look at all that stuff. Break it, spray it. We'll hook that down. And here's Kip. And once we rotated this, you see this link right here is all tangled up. Once we rotated it, we saw the link was all tangled up. I'm repeating since Kip. I know yeah, you can hear. I think they can hear me. Okay. But we need to get that undone. So a lot of times, you just hit it with a, a hammer like that. Oh. And you don't have to fight with it. So as you can see, a hammer is a good thing to have. How are you feeling out here? I'm fine now. Good. Just remember, when you're doing this, if you get cold, spend some time in the truck, warm back up, do it in stages. Don't get out here and try to kill yourself. But now we're gonna hook it up and show you how the chain hooks up. We're gonna hook it up and show you how the chain works. Make sure all this is really straight before you go hooking it up. Square it back off. And now this back chain has to be hooked first. There's another hook like this. I don't know how much of this you're going to be able to see, but that's what we got to hook. And I can't reach it. So when that happens, you got to get the slack from the other side. You got to get the slack from the other side if you can't hook it. <coughs> Don't hit your back either. I gotta figure out what's going on here. Oh, it's stuck right there. I got it. It was stuck, but now I got it. So now, so now, we're gonna hook this chain. We're gonna hook the chain that I previously showed you. On the link that you can get 
the tightest. And in this case, it's the second link. Second link? It's all right, we're gonna do it on the other side too. Do this. Taking the gloves off to do the socks too, because it's like icy. And your fingers start to hurt after you get cold. All right, I got it. If not first, maybe you can get a shot of how it looks. <laughs> That's all I got. Second here. All right, now. Whew. Uh, the inside is done. We hit the snow. We hit the outside one the same way. On that one there. I know there's a little bit of slack in there, but I'm afraid if we hook the, the last one, these locks will be too tight. Let's make sure all the locks are unhooked. They are. All right. Uh, let's go with that one. If we have to tighten it up, we can. We need to get the tool. Sorry. All right. I'm trying now, not. You just simply lock all of these locks. Why would that not fit in this lock? Just the wrong tool? Or is it just that rusty? It's probably just that rusty. All right. There we go. That's what it looks like when it's locked. Yeah, the chain will be real close together. And I'm gonna stop filming because my hands are starting now, to get cold. Let's finish because we're very funny. So are you filming? Yeah, I'm filming. Okay. So it wasn't tight enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that last link that I can get. You're gonna take the last link you can get, so it'll be a little bit tighter. Because we're definitely hemp boots. Yeah, I can't get that last one. I'm gonna hook that with my hand, but I'm gonna put it easier. This tool is not working too well, but I think it's the only one we got right now. Yeah, I, th I thought I saw a T one back there in the snow, but I can't find it anymore. Yeah, they make one that's a T. Yeah, this is definitely going to be tightened up now. And when you get done, you don't need any bungees. Yeah, if you, if you do this right and you make it tight enough, it shouldn't go clunk, 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 clunk. You don't need bungees. As you can see, how tight this last one is. To be really tight like that. This chain is not going to reach anything. The only ones you got that are loose is this part right here. And so putting bungees on here is not necessary. All that does is try to pull the chain in one direction. You don't want that. Now and so we just do all the rest of them the same way. And you're chained up. Now once you get everything chained up and locked down, you want to pull up about you know, three, four hundred feet, whatever you can. Give that chain a chance to roll on that tire and get out and double check that it didn't loosen up or didn't roll or didn't do anything like that before you get going. And then once you're running with chains, I don't suggest that you go more than about uh, 25 miles an hour max. Okay. Any faster than that, it's not gonna be good for the chains. It's, it won't hurt anything. I mean, technically you could go as much as 45 miles an hour but you're gonna be wearing them chains out badly by going that fast. But right now we're just creeping along to uh, give them a chance to settle. And then once we get up here a few hundred feet, we'll get out and double check them again. Make well, sure that they haven't well, what sucks is gone the anywhere. Where this train area is, is right off the side of the highway where there's literally people going 70 miles an hour. Yeah, you definitely. So it's like trying to jump out. Well. Now, you definitely want to make sure you have your high visibility gear on like we did. You don't want to be out there without a vest on. So, that's it. That's what it takes to chain. It's really not that hard, and experience helps. The more you do it, the better you get at it. But hopefully you ain't got to do it very often.
Now time to get out and check Because it gets old quick. But sure. you do get it down to a science if you have to do it all the time like we used to. So that's the best advice that we can give you. Drink lots of Gatorade during the winter too. That's our opinion <laughs> on how to chain. I'm sure other people have other ways to do it. Watch other videos, maybe a combination of things that you can watch, that you can learn from. So be safe. Make every day an adventure. Let's get some dips. And dream big. We'll see you next time.